What's up, we here to be Fifty Family. Welcome back. It's your boy Doc. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to say thank you to all the new subscribers to We Hunt Two, We Fish Two Family. Welcome, welcome to the family. Um, today, um, I want to. Uh, I have a video I want to share with you uh, about a hunt that I did um, uh, uh, this afternoon. I decided to do more evening hunts. At, or more morning hunts as opposed to a morning and day hunt. Um, I try to uh, not put so much wear and tear on these old bones. So uh, I'm going to start doing a little bit more of those. But I still will have the all day hunts as well. But uh, today, this, this video is, is, is uh, uh, a little different uh, than what you may expect. I have, uh, I, I, I took my, my rifle with me because the shooting house that I was in, uh, I'm not fully comfortable with shooting a bolt out of it, so I took my rifle instead. And also, you're going to see uh, an opportunity uh, for me to harvest a deer. I'm apologizing right now. Um, I, I took one camera. My other camera was on the on the um, on the men. I was uh, working, trying to work some things out with it, and I didn't get the actual shot, but uh, the harvest is still there, so I just want to guys prep you guys for that, but uh, I still think it's a great content, some things uh, that you can take away from it as well, so uh, with that, uh, stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and remember, we hunt too, we fish too. What's up, we hunt too, we fish too, family? Welcome back. Hey, um, I'm back out in the field again, guys. And uh, I'm going, I'm doing an evening hunt this time today. Uh, I didn't, I decided not to do it all day today. I'm just going in to do an evening hunt. I'm going to, um, to a, a, a property that you guys, you guys have seen before. Hopefully, uh, we'll uh, be able to see something. Now, the trail cameras have shown, or have shown, you know, you've seen activity. There's a big buck in the area, too, chasing does. Look. up in this part of the uh, state of Alabama and uh, at least we want to see some uh, movement today. Uh, if I get an opportunity at a door, I'm, I'm going to take that opportunity telling you guys now, but I'm going to wait to see if she brings out that buck before I take this hat. At least I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to give it time. Uh, so uh, if I get an opportunity, I'm going to take it. But hopefully that, that opportunity is on the book with that dope brings out. If not, we'll get it anyway. But um, it's about 12.30, 12.35 uh, Wednesday. Um, I haven't been in the field um, in the last few couple weeks because I had to finish up work and, you know, get things taken care of um, on the job first before I can really focus on and put a lot of time into the field. So now that I have that time, to have about two and a half, three solid weeks that I can hunt uninterrupted. So um, hopefully we'll get it done during that time. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So um, let's go, guys. Let's see if we can get it good, get it done today. Let's see if we can get it done today. All right. So y'all hang on in there. Remember, we have to be 50.
Guys, right here, a very funny thing happened uh, during the hunt, and I want to share this story, which I think is uh, story worthy. During this hunt, um, I was expecting a, a, a call, um, business related, um, but as it got late in the afternoon, I decided that uh, tomorrow would probably be a better time when my uh, client probably will call. So uh, I didn't pay it no mind, so I went on with the hunt. So uh, lo and behold, as I was preparing to record um, the field, the phone, my phone rang and uh, it was it was a potential client. So I had to take the call and I decided, you know, work, hunt. I decided to make sure I took care of work at home first. So uh, if I uh, didn't have a successful hunt, that was fine. But I needed to take care of this business. So uh, I took the call. And uh, while I was on the call, a deer came into the field. Now, at this time, I was in the in the shooting house, and I had already uh, packed my things and had pulled down the window. The deer had no idea I was there, uh, or at least it 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 seemed that like it didn't know that anyone was even in the blind or not because I was still talking on the phone, and I had to make a decision whether to uh uh. uh you know, continue my conversation or spook the deer, but I continued my conversation. This conversation lasted about 10 to 15 minutes because I wanted to kind of build a relationship with my client on the phone. So, and during that time, I also said that I would give it time to see if a buck will come in behind that dope. So I, I, I chatted on my phone, normal, normal volume, uh, and, and watched the deer in the field feed on in, in the green field. And so, uh, I, I took an opportunity to end the call. And uh, then I decided, well, how am I going to get in position to take a shot or at least uh, try to harvest this deer? So it, every attempt that I tried to make to the, the open the window, the, the, it would get the deer attention. So when I finally got the window open, I grabbed um, my rifle with my right hand and, and eased, eased it onto the ledge and got into position. Now, mind you, I'm still holding the window open because I didn't want to run the risk of spooking the deer, making the sound where it'll it'll run them off. So I ended up taking the shot with one hand. I did a one-hand shot on this deer uh, out of this shooting blind because I had to hold the window open and I was and I fired the shot to harvest the deer with the other. So that's the story with with uh, why there's you didn't see the harvest. Uh, because I was on the phone trying to take care of some business, so uh, I don't. That's I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. Um, I would not. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. What's up? We hunt two, we fish two. Um, well, it's about it's a little after four, um, and. Um, Guess what? I was able to get it done. Uh, I only had one working camera today, and uh, my other one was I didn't have it with me. And I had some things to come up um, in the midst of me trying to get this thing done to where I couldn't provide you the content on uh, with the harvest. But here's here's what we have. We got it right there. I'm giving it time to expire. Like I said, I waited. I didn't see the book to come in with this dough, but um, I waited about 10 minutes and um, she didn't come in behind her. So I went ahead and harvest the dough. So we got it done for for you for that. So uh, all right, I'm gonna get it, get my, get my, get my things together. And we're gonna go out here and recover this deer. So, and, uh, Get it processed, so uh, y'all stay tuned. All right, folks, I'm out the blind. That's the blind I was in right there. Um, so I'm gonna check my surroundings, make sure that's good to go. So I'm gonna go out here and uh, see what we have. Okay. All right. 
nice size mature doe. She's a uh, nice size, so uh, we see the, she's dark here in the dorsal gland. Pretty dark, so she's pretty mature. She's mature. And uh, we got it done, folks. We got we got us a doe for this year. We got, so uh, I'm, I'm happy about that. So that was the goal, to at least get one doe for this year. And uh, that's that'll be number two. That'll be my second one for this year. Got a, um, a buck earlier with my bow. So, but this was my uh, rifle harvest for this year as well. So I'm happy about that. So, um, hang on there. <laughs> Well, I can tell you, that 308 did the job. She leaking. All right, all right, folks. We got it all loaded, loaded up. I'm gonna get on out of here, so I'm gonna kind of continue to taint the area. Um, the 308 did a, did its job, got it down. One shot, one kill. She didn't go far. She fell right in the spot where she was harvested at. So I'm um, hearing other deer walking around. They curious and wasn't know what's going on. So I'm gonna get on out of here, folks. So we're gonna try. We're gonna get her on to the processor and. Uh, uh, <clears throat> have us some 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 uh, uh deer venison for christmas so hey thank you guys for watching and uh remember we hunt too we fish too Alright people, I uh, got my uh, deer down to the processor because I, you know, want to go ahead and, and get it taken care of. And I came to a place that's here local, supposed to be one of the, you know, good ones in the area. So uh, I'm just dropping her off and uh, that's going to seal the deal for me guys. So 
we got it done from start to finish and i hope you guys enjoyed and uh uh i'll be out in the field again remember we hunt too we fish too